Floyd is used to having the refs do whatever he wants, and he wasn't getting his way this time. It was so embarrassing. Floyd. It was extremely embarrassing for Floyd because at 50 years old, he is a legend in the sport. I have defended you in numerous interviews, most recently on Shannon Sharp's podcast last week, but you need to stop making fun of yourself. Floyd is used to having the officials do whatever he wants. Floyd Mayweather's exhibition fights have recently been shown by Oscar De La Hoya to be fixed and only a money grab. Mayweather is no stranger to controversy, whether it comes from generating headlines outside of the ring or from his punches in it. This was demonstrated once more when, at the age of 47, he became involved in a lawsuit a few days after competing against John Gotti Thay in an exhibition match. In the rematch against 31-year-old Gotti, Mayweather continues to captivate spectators, raising concerns among fans and friends alike. Oscar De La Hoya couldn't resist commenting on the situation. The fight itself was mostly disappointing, with real entertainment dominating the first two rounds. However, in the second round, the best fighter ever almost sent the fight into disarray by arguing with the referee after landing a shot to the back of Gotti's head and receiving a warning from Mayweather. The 51-year-old official was replaced by the referee. De La Hoya discussed on Instagram how Mayweather changed the referee after he had interrupted him. Floyd Mayweather was upset because the referee told him to stop hitting behind his head, something Mayweather wasn't used to as he usually had referees who did what he wanted, De La Hoya said, adding that the event had been a complete disaster and that the crowd had booed in the arena at the end. De La Hoya thought the scenario was embarrassing and advised Mayweather, a 50-year-old sports legend, to quit making a fool of himself. In the midst of the second round, Floyd Mayweather literally had the referee switched out because he didn't like that. The referee told him to stop hitting behind his head. The former boxer-turned-promoter showed support for his old rival by highlighting his accomplishments and revealing how he had defended him on numerous occasions, including in interviews. However, even Oscar De La Hoya acknowledged that with a 50-0 record, it was time for Mayweather to change his ways. Floyd Mayweather fought another exhibition against Gotti last Saturday. The California native also talked about Mayweather's recent legal battle in which it was claimed that he failed to pay roughly $4 million for the jewelry. Although he acknowledged that life could be costly and challenging, De La Hoya urged Mayweather to put his legacy first. He was concerned that no one would remember Mayweather in this way, recognizing the difficulties in earning money and the even bigger difficulty in holding on to it. I know life is hard and expensive, but come on dude, put your legacy first. Nobody wants to remember you like this, and it gets worse, declared De La Hoya who expressed his support for Mayweather. Your jeweler filed a lawsuit in Miami against you, and many are claiming that you will have to liquidate your possessions. I'm sorry to see this happen, buddy, but after expressing his worries and providing financial advice, De La Hoya turned his attention to his former protege. After losing a fight to Terence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez Alvarez decided not to work with His Excellency Turkey Alec on his ambitious venture. The main character of Golden Boy demonstrated His Excellency Turkey Alec's dedication to preserving real boxing and arranging the greatest bouts. Because of this commitment, Alvarez, stated, detested the Saudi advisor, which is why Canelo dislikes him as he demands that everyone compete to the highest standard. Canelo De La Hoya intimated that he will provide more information regarding Alvarez's circumstances next week. In the meantime, the Mexican champion is getting ready to fight Edgar Berlanga at T-Mobile's arena on September 14. However, it is unclear if the match will be successful. In June 2023, Mayweather and Gotti, the grandson of infamous New York crime boss John Gotti, had their first fight. It was called off in the sixth round of Saturday night's battle in Mexico City due to a massive brawl that broke out in the ring. Similar controversy arose when, in the second round, Mexican official Alfredo Rusa replaced Panamanian referee Hector AFU when he abruptly left the ring. Mayweather's protests were said to have enraged AFU when the referee declared that, 
the Americans' left hook on Gotti was unlawful at 47. When the battle resumed, Mayweather maintained his superiority over Gotti, and the 220,000-strong crowd in the Mexican capital gave him alcohol for missing punches. The crowd's alcohol consumption fueled Gotti's aggression in the fourth round, but Mayweather never looked rattled and remained in control of the bout. Neither fighter's career record was impacted by the result, and no official winner was declared with a perfect 50-fight career record. While Mayweather retired in 2017 and continues to compete in exhibitions, Oscar De La Hoya recently revealed that he told Canelo Alvarez not to fight Floyd Mayweather back in 2013 and that the Mexican no longer likes him. Mayweather's previous bout was against Logan Paul. The Golden Boy boss thought back on the current situation, and Canelo remembered the time the multi-weight champion lost for the first time. Judge C.J. Ross, who scored the fight a draw and received harsh criticism before retiring, let Mayweather to establish his supremacy over Canelo by winning a hotly disputed majority decision. Meanwhile, colleagues Dave Moretti and Craig Metcalf scored the match 116-112 and 117-111 in Mayweather's favor, respectively. Out of 86 media scores, including World Boxing News, Mayweather won every round of the fight against Canelo that evening. Mayweather's average score was 11,919. During that time, De La Hoya, who represented Canelo, provided Shannon with insightful advice about clubs. She claimed that I advise Canelo not to fight Floyd because he is too young and inexperienced. Floyd is 21 years old and is showing off his strength as though he might defeat him. When asked if Canelo would fight YouTuber Jake Paul, the legendary De La Hoya said that his former protege no longer harbors any affection for his old mentor, saying, I can make it happen, but Canelo hates the shout of me. It would be a lot of money, but it wouldn't be a legacy. I'm the very best guess what you got schooled. It wasn't even close. I don't think Canelo has anything to prove. I think he's clearly fighting for the money these days, and as long as he fights, that's fine. However, he has seemingly shifted his focus away from Canelo and toward the winner of the October 12th fight between Er Better Beave and Dimitri Bevel. The world is pushing Canelo to take on Bennett's, and failing to do so will be detrimental to his legacy and reputation. Canelo is also hoping for a rematch with Devil if the latter wins against BBV as it did earlier. Oscar De La Hoya made a bold declaration that Ryan Garcia is still loyal to him and Golden Boy Promotions after asserting in a dramatic manner that the legendary Floyd Mayweather attempted to entice Garcia away from him. This came after Garcia publicly criticized De La Hoya and his promotion company prior to his fight with Oscar De La Hoya. De La Hoya further stated that perhaps he is slipping in some business, saying that Ryan is a loyal guy who will let me know if he wants to stay with me or not, and that we have a contract. Garcia is currently under a 12-month suspension from professional boxing boxing after multiple positive tests for Osteran prior to his fight with Devin Haney, and he also failed to meet the maximum weight limit for the bout. He has been expelled from the WBC following a live stream where he directed racist remarks at both the Islamic community and black individuals.